what I'm doing is I'm not just pressing with my foot, even though I can start this way just to get a feel. My big broad arch is wrapped over her hamstrings. And the hamstrings are on that right side, by the way. Biceps femoris, semimembranosus, semitendinosus. Oh, yay. What I'm really trying to do is I'm going to lengthen this leg completely. Depending on your height or leg length, you might have to scoot in a little bit closer. You might have to scoot away a little bit closer. It also has some variability based on the person's leg length compared to you who you're working on. I brought her just past 90 degrees. When I get a grip around the foot and then above the ankle, I'm going to lean back and pull her onto my foot. How's that right there? Not too much? No. Okay. Then I'm going to disengage for a second. I'm going to extend my leg completely and then pull her onto my foot. Oh, yeah. And then do this and move down maybe a half inch. Pull her onto my foot. And pull her onto my foot. Now for me, I've done this so many times, I don't even have to think about it. But my toes are facing to the outside. I'm going to turn my toes in. And I'm going to have the, the, the top of my toes right here just kind of tucked under her knee. I'm going to let her leg roll open. And I'm going to extend... I'm going to hopefully let her shin cross mine, bend my leg enough. You see how her foot just wraps around under my leg? Now I can hold right here and, hey, check it out, we'll check it out. Yeah. Then this foot can press right into the hamstrings. The resistance that I've got, I can switch hands that I'm holding with. Depends on what you feel like gives you the most length on your spine. I'm still pressing big, broad arch right into the hamstring right there. But it's also giving some link to the adductor, it's kind of changing her hip mobility. If you have people with low back pain, man, they have all kinds of tension through their quads and all that. When we're addressing these things, when we talk about the quads, they can cause knee pain. We talk about the TFL, can cause knee pain. Talked about vastus lateralis, can cause knee pain. The muscles that are below the knee, in my experience, don't tend to refer up, but I do see people in knee pain who are having issues with TFL and some of the muscles in the thigh. But because Danielle and I don't have, don't have huge amounts of knee pain, kind of changes my focus a little bit. There we go. Big, broad arch. Now, after I've done this a handful of times, and you can see that as I've done this, you see how big and broad it is? I can split, I can use my heel and just split the bellies of the biceps femoris. I'm making eye contact to make sure I'm not using too much pressure. You see how my leg becomes extended right there? No more than that? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to leave this where it's at. What happens if I rock you a little bit? Tons of movement, tons of play. You just have to learn to communicate with the person. Oh, yeah. I wonder how many clock hours I've really done in session over the years. Like, if you totaled it up for 20 years, like, what has it been like? They say, like, 10,000 hours yeah. or something. Yeah, something like that. Now, that was sharp. That's more like elbow as opposed to forearm. I backed out for a second. I'm going to use big, broad pressure again. And that was right up at her edge. I'm trying to find out what, what she can receive. Then keeping this foot underneath the knee just for support, I'm going to back out. I'm going to unhook this guy, and I'm going to bring the leg up. I'm going to keep that foot under for support. And you see how I can lean back 